when we were kids, we used to get home from school and we used to literally just jam. My name is Remy and I'm a guitar player. I was seven years old when I got my first guitar and that's when I kind of learned, started learning properly how to play. My first guitar was um, a three-quarter classical guitar, which I bought from Argos. 35 quid, if I remember correctly. <laughs> my birthday's in February. In February, I got my first electric guitar for my birthday. And th then I played electric guitar, and that's, I found that much easier. I played a little bit of drums at school. Um, and But other, other than that, really just stringed instruments, guitars. I, I like playing the ukulele as well. Since my since about the age of 20, I've, I've been really working on jazz music. Before that, I was playing rock and blues guitar and that's what I grew up playing and, and now nowadays I kind of try to blend the two worlds as much as I can but yeah jazz, jazz is a big part of the kind of music that I play. The thing I love about jazz is the, um, the improvising and the interaction between musicians um, every time you play a song, you know, it's, it's very, it's different from night to night. Um, you have a lot of freedom to express yourself and a lot of um, opportunity to be creative, which is something I really like. Uh, well, most guitar players love guitars, you know, and, uh, and different guitars will give you a different uh, sounds and they feel different and, and so therefore they're good for different types of tunes or music and I mean I've been you know I wouldn't say I was a guitar collector but I've been buying guitars since I was at school you know so I've got guitars going back when I was a schoolboy still and in my teens I actually worked in a guitar shop and so during that period in my life I was I was acquiring a few instruments along the way and so um, so yeah I've got a I've got a few here now but um, it's a Fender Stratocaster. This is a guitar that I got when I was about 14, I think. My dad bought it me for a Christmas present. And um, it's a guitar that I played all through my teens, gigging around with mates in, in rock bands and things. This is my uh, Les Paul. It's a guitar that I got when I was about 18, I think. And it was my main kind of rock guitar. Um, back then, and um, it's it's a funny colour. It's actually called Gecko Burst, and um, a lot of people don't like the colour, but I, I really like it. And as the more time goes on, I like it more and more because when I grew up, um, you'd see pictures of Jimmy Page and all those great guitar players who used Les Pauls, and they were always red or well, cherry cherry sunburst, you know. And I always wanted one like that growing up. But when it came to the, the day when I actually had a chance to buy one, I just saw that green one hanging there. And I was like, there's something about that, i just got to have it. So so I ended up buying the the, the bright green Les Paul. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's been with me ever since. I've played it all over the place and it's one of my favourite guitars. I love colour, you know. I just love psychedelic colours and stuff. and. Um, and guitar straps, some of those old kind of 60s design guitar straps are, are really cool, you know, and you, you see pictures of Hendrix with them and stuff, so, so I've got a few straps like that, you know, that I've collected over the years. So. Uh, this guitar was actually given to me by um, a guy called David who, who comes to see us play, and the last time he came to see us play, he said to me after, he said, I've got this this old guitar which I used to play, he's, he's kind of an elderly guy now so he doesn't play anymore and he said would you like it and I was like I couldn't believe it so I was like yeah and um, it's actually from 1958 um, if, I've, if I've calculated that correctly by looking at old pictures and stuff and um, it's an old Hoffner Senator and this is um, my ukulele it's a it's a baritone ukulele, which I tuned to a tenor ukulele tuning. And this was also given to me by a friend called Simon, who's got lots of different ukuleles. He collects ukuleles. And um, he brought this along to a jam session we were having, and I had so much fun playing it, you know. Um, I think he could see how much fun I was having. And he actually gave it me, which was 
which was amazing. And um, I've taken it around pretty much every gig I've done since, and I really enjoy playing it. And uh, it's actually tuned. It, the, the it's a baritone uke, so it's a bigger ukulele than normal. But um, I tune it to the tenor tuning, which is a higher tuning, and they don't make strings for that. So uh, we had to improvise a bit, and we've ended up using three classical guitar strings for the bottom three strings, and then the top string is actually fishing wire. And um, but it sounds good, you know, and no one notices. So <laughs> um, the plectrums I use are these; they're made by um, Jim Dunlop. And they take me a long time to make, so I'm very, I'm very cautious about losing them. Um, I start with when when they're new, they have a certain shape to them, but um, I have to keep playing with them for months sometimes before they develop the right kind of bevel. So I've always got a couple on the go, and then a couple that I can actually gig with. So I'll practice with new ones, start wearing them in, and that'll take weeks and weeks, sometimes longer. Uh, and um, and then eventually they, they take the shape which I need to, to play comfortably. So I use strings by a company called Newtone Strings, based in the UK. And they make all different types of strings, and it's, it's great because all the different types of guitars I play, they, they do them all. So, um, yeah... That I can go to them and say, I'd like a custom kind of set with these gauges, and they'll put it together and send it out. And so that's great because I'm I'm always um, experimenting with different string gauges and string types, and uh, and they're really great for that kind of thing. So the most high profile gig that I took part in was um, a BBC Proms performance at the Royal Albert Hall, and it was um, with Jamie Cullum. And it was his, it was his prom, you know, it was his concert, and he invited us to play with him. And uh, I was using a guitar made for me by Fired Guitars, which was kind of a prototype to a, a guitar that is now available as a signature mod. The guitar is um, based on a guitar from the 30s, which was, um, which was a guitar that a guitarist called Django Reinhardt played. And it's got a very specific sound. It's a very bright sound. It's um, sometimes they can sound a little aggressive, but that's kind of the way they're meant to sound. They're meant to be kind of, you know, quite sometimes a bit spiky. But um, if you like the the music of Django Reinhardt, that's the kind of guitar that you that you use. And it's the only guitar that will that will sound like that. The only thing that um, affects me is whether I like it or not. So I try not to be like, oh, it's not jazz, so therefore I'm not learning it, you know, or it's not guitar, so therefore I'm not learning it. And so th doing this constantly every day is what sort of what gives me the inspiration that then I get to go and try and make my own sounds. Every year, you know, the concerts we play kind of get slightly more well attended, and our audience grows, and if we can keep snowballing. And I, and I keep having the opportunity to be creative uh, with the music and having fun with the music, and that's my main goal. And through my teens, um, I played in lots of rock bands with mates, and, and we had a great time playing this kind of fun music at, and at festivals all over the place. And, and um, we were really into kind of jamming. When we were kids, we used to get home from school and... We used to literally just jam until we, you know, until we weren't allowed anymore, <laughs> until it was too late. And I think that kind of sowed a seed in me for getting into jazz music, because jazz music is all about jamming. And it's the thing I really love about rock music from the 60s and 70s, bands like Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple and Free and all these bands and Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton. They were like really kind of on stage, they were really experimenting and all the live versions of songs were often extended and um, big kind of sessions, jam sessions. Some of my favourite guitar players, you know, Peter Green from Fleetwood Mac, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton, 
um, and of course Django Reinhardt and all the great gypsy jazz guitar players like Pirelli Le Gren and Stuckler Rosenberg. And I try and learn as much as I can from all of them and have it like mix in a big melting pot and, and not be too kind of conscious of it, just let it happen naturally and then hopefully that all all fuse into my individual sound because that's kind of how those guys ended up sounding the way they did you know peter green listened to a lot of um earlier blues guys like bb king you know and um, steve ray Vaughan, you can hear a lot of albert king in his playing um and so that's how it, it kind of that's how guitar playing evolves <laughs> I'd like to thank um, Fired Guitars, um, New Tone Strings, all the people who come out and see us at gigs all over the place, and then an extra special thank you to my wife, Danny, who handles all of the business side of everything, and without her, I wouldn't be playing guitar for a living now. Um, we work as a team on everything, and um, that's a really important part of my life. This is, um, this is, this is Morris.